Yeah, fingers crossed. Sarah, good afternoon, Ben. Hi, everyone. We're here at a bus company in Wallingford. Really, bus companies statewide are saying, please, people, apply. And they're trying to streamline the process. You know, there's over a thousand vacancies for bus drivers statewide. Multiple state agencies, including the Department of Motor Vehicles and the governor's office, met for several months earlier this year to try to iron out how they could streamline the application process for bus drivers, including how long it takes to complete background checks. It used to take up to six weeks to complete the background checks. Now it takes 24 to 27 hours. And applications used to take six weeks to process. Now, one to two weeks. And there's a good part-time wage. You're going to start out after you get your CDL at about 19 bucks an hour, somewhere in that range starting. And um, probably on average, you're topping out in the, in the mid to upper 20s, depending on the locations. I was a stay-at-home mom for 20-something years. And she says the experience has been very rewarding. Well, because I feel that I'm giving back to the community what they did for my kids. You know, and what I'm asking for, for parents that you know, need to go out to work, come and drive, come and help somebody else's child. Many drivers are parents with young kids who can't afford to pay daycare or their retirees, including this now former television news anchor and reporter who started training today. I drove buses 45 years ago in Danbury, and I probably logged maybe 200,000 miles under my belt in those four years. Yeah, Kevin Hogan is a really good dude, and kids will enjoy seeing him uh, behind the wheel this coming fall over in the Griswold area, which is where he's going to be driving. You know, from the application process to the training right now, folks, it'll take you four to five weeks to get in the seat. We're live here in Wallingford. Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.